we got? The first trailer for the new film Victor Frankenstein has hit the web. Radical scientist Victor Frankenstein, played by James McAvoy, and his equally brilliant protege Igor Straussman, played by Daniel Radcliffe, share a noble vision of aiding humanity through their groundbreaking research into immortality. But Victor's experiments go too far and his obsession has horrifying consequences. Only Igor can bring his friend back from the brink of madness and save him from his monstrous creation. Victor Frankenstein hits theaters on November November 25th, John Byers saw this first trailer for Victor Frankenstein. This is one of those films that ever since I read about it, that Daniel Radcliffe is going to play Igor and whatever, this sounded like such a throwaway movie to me. Just totally thrown away, and I thought it was going to be crappy, and I've poo-pooed the idea of it, and I'm totally turning around on this. I'm going to do a complete 180. I buy this trailer. I had so much fun with it. It was so different than what I thought it was going to be. And one of the things I enjoy, and I know a lot of people don't like this, but I like when movies like this will take the traditional story mythology of it and put their own spin on it. Like Igor, Daniel Radcliffe is not playing Igor. <laughs> He's actually playing like a brilliant scientist who's like his assistant or whatever. And I like it when, you know, movies and properties will do those little, their own takes on it and change things up a bit. And I dig that. I thought it was funny and light. I thought the visuals looked terrific. And so I've gone from Sunby going, this movie is a stupid idea to, I can't wait to see it. So for me, it's a buy. I got to sell this trailer. It didn't do much for me at all. Just the name <laughs> Victor Frankenstein. Look, it's a it's a hard sell. It, it is because we've seen it so many times done so poorly. And this it, it just didn't seem like anything that I would really want to go see or to reinvigorate what you could do with a Frankenstein franchise. I, I get that they're trying a different take on it. That Dana Radcliffe isn't playing the typical Igor or Igor with the hump and and James McAvoy is like a younger Frankenstein. He's got this vision and he he really wants to help people. He's not this crazy scientist yet. It just it felt like every other Frankenstein thing I've seen to this point where it's like, okay, let's pull the hand, let's have the lightning, let's have this weird creature come to life. And I've just seen too many movies that feel exactly like what I saw with this trailer. I'm also a little tainted because I saw the footage at Comic-Con. I saw about six minutes of footage and it just it, it felt like a lot of movies that I've seen before that weren't done that well, so it's hard for me to buy just off this trailer. Now, I think you're being a little unfair because I think you are holding it up against I Frankenstein, <laughs> and that's just that's no, just unfair. Nothing anyway. can be held against I Frankenstein, <laughs> where people exploded into fireworks for uh -huh. like 30 minutes. That's one of the most biggest pieces of garbage yeah. I saw last Not time. a good film. Amazingly fun if you want to waste two hours of your life. <laughs> I Frankenstein. Thanks for ruining my day. <laughs> anyway, Victor Frankenstein. Victor Frankenstein. Oh, you're eating a I'm, red vine. Really? You know, no, I you know this means I'm business. I need to shake the ants off of it first. Um, I'm buying this trailer. Uh, it felt like an original take to me, for me at least. I've seen almost every Frankenstein version ever made, including I Frankenstein. And this does have the typical like 1933s. It's alive, screaming with the lightning, which I I like that that bit is even in the trailer. But it felt different. It felt like. Uh, Igor is playing Watson to v yes, Frankenstein yes, Sherlock. Yes. It felt like that's a that's the kind of combo, and I buy it also because the screenwriter is Max Landis, and he's been pulling out a lot of different kind of cool takes on different, uh, you know, films that have been done before. He's t putting a different spin on certain things, so I'm buying it. And just from watching the trailer, I get the feeling that Frankenstein's not the only monster because you see this woman, and I don't know if I'm just reading into it, but she's got the little red Riding Hood cloak on. And I get the idea that there's a werewolf in there because they're saying the creatures, you know, the, there's more than Frankenstein is my guess. So I wonder if they're if it's a mixing of a lot of different uh, mythology as opposed to just the Frankenstein uh, Mary Shelley book. So I buy it. I'm looking forward to a serious, fun horror film with this. If you, you know? put a Frankenstein thing on the poster, then I'm probably going to go see it opening weekend regardless. I just I hope it's good. It just the trailer didn't didn't do it for me. The monster looks really frightening, though. I mean, I thought Did we get a really good look at the monster they, though? only from the side, but it right. looks creepy and like a mishmash of parts. That's what I like. Like I Frankenstein it. was. Well, <laughs> hang on a second. Let's not keep comparing it to I Frankenstein. I think it looks a little different. All right, what's next? I will eat more red vines if it's like I Frankenstein. <laughs>